Oh, remember, John, when we were surprised by that 199 reading? Hold on to your hats. 184 <laughs> is the reading for this month, <laughs> for last week, rather, which is uh, rather stunning. I, I can't do the historical that fast, I record. don't think, to figure record it out. Record low. But it is uh, a record low, it looks like. Lisa, thank you for jumping in there. Um, 1,992,000 continuing claims, which, you know, compared to what we were looking at uh, during the pandemic, that's nothing. So we're really seeing some strength in the labor market. Now, I am sure there is some sort of explanation for this that has to do with holidays, uh, Kaylee's honeymoon, um, <laughs> all kinds of things. Um, you know, maybe Tom is out filing for jobless claims now, but this is kind of crazy. Um, last week, uh, the number was 267,000, uh, so, uh, or 227,000, I'm sorry, uh, in a uh, revised level. And uh, so this is, um, well, it's not the record, Lisa. I'm looking at the, the numbers from the um, Yeah, please, do go on. BLS. Correct me. September 6th, 1969. Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> okay, you were, thank you. You were still recovering from Woodstock the month before. <laughs> I know, I remember. Um, You're yeah. ancient Lisa here. <laughs> if you remember, you weren't there. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> Evidently, Tom's he's, he's, Tom's going on claims <laughs> yeah, soon, exactly. according to Mike McKee. And I'm 85. Carry on, Just to pick up here, we're down 17 on the yeah. S&P. <laughs> <laughs> One percent. Tom definitely doesn't remember it. And the bond market yields are lower by four basis points to 148.36. And Mike, to your point, if you've got to go back to the 60s, this isn't population adjusted, is it? No. For the current population, 184 is just incredible. It, yeah, it's insane. This is uh, this is really crazy. And uh, as far as I know, we we worked all last week, so. Um, well, but hold sure. on a second, Mike, because when we had those numbers that came in at a, a, a at least post-1969 low, uh, November, earlier this year, people said this must be some sort of holiday discrepancy. And then the adjusted data came in, and it was even lower. So at what point do we say, wait a second, there's something real going on, especially when paired with that JOLTS data yesterday, which showed that the number of job openings increased to the second most ever at nearly uh, at more than 11 million. Well, uh, obviously, this is the holiday season when it is hard to seasonally adjust. Uh, I mean, uh, last week was Hanukkah. Maybe that had something to do with it. It did not have anything to do with well, it. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for that uh, economic analysis. But uh, maybe this is the delayed version of what we were uh, what we've been expecting for a long time, and that is a lot of people going back into the labor force. Uh, this is for the week that is just before the. Um, the, the payroll survey for December. So uh, if we saw a number like this next week, you'd have some really big December numbers out there. It's also possible that maybe uh, delayed hiring, a lot of people who weren't, you know, who had money in the bank and, and uh, were sitting around waiting to go back to work took uh, the part-time jobs at the retailers and distributors uh, that uh, come up at Christmas time. So we'll have to see how this plays out over a longer period. And I don't think economists are going to make too much of this, but it is definitely uh, somewhat head-scratching, uh, <laughs> to say the least.